Please slow down. Wait for me. I know exactly where I'm going. Look, this is it. This is it. Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop. Look. Please, no. Oh. Oh. That smell. Rachel. Oh. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. 
I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Blackwell looks evil to me now. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? You're the one going out with him. Brooke, enough. I, I am sorry Warren asked me to the movies, but you don't need to give me an attitude. I'd like to think I'm your friend. I know. I get salty when things don't go my way. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friend. You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? 
Max. If I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. There's Courtney drinking alone without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being a member. I just want to talk Victoria to Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Uh, what is Max Caulfield doing at a Vortex Club party? <laughs> it really must be the end of the world. <laughs> Get it? But seriously, like, what do you want? I didn't want to be alone tonight after this week, so I thought it'd be nice to hang out in the VIP section. Yes, it is very nice. If you're in the Vortex Club, which you're not and will never be. So, excuse me. Great plan, Max. Time to find another way into the VIP section. is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. So play. You did I heard my dad. Like that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's. Victoria, you're picked. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members on. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, Max. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I don't blame you, Victoria, but you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. More than stupid, it's mean, hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Max, I saw Kate Marsh die. I swear it didn't feel real to me. I kept thinking, did I cause this? Did I? I felt like shit ever since. I believe you, Victoria, but I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. For what, I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. Is 
that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Uh, you saw me talking to him? Saw. And heard. We were just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max, I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. Good. I have real friends. I wouldn't want a fake one. You try to act like all shy and humble. You took a picture of me covered in paint. Who do you think set up the paint can to fall? It wasn't Samuel, dumbass. And you trashed my room after, so stop whining. You did that? You bitch! You could have killed me with that fucking can! I almost got that freak Samuel fired! And that would have been bad. You're right, Victoria, for once. You actually think you're better than me? No fucking way. Guess I'll never be a member of the Vortex Club. No, bitch, you won't. It was good talking to you, Victoria, as usual. Eat a dick, Max. You're just jealous of me because I actually do the things you can't. I put my photographs out there while you hide behind your lame retro self. At least tell me where Nathan is. Uh, why do you want to know? Principal Wells wanted to see us Monday. It's no big deal. Then why ask me? I haven't even seen him tonight. Adios. Au revoir. Should I have warned Victoria about Nathan? I mean, she might be evil. Oh good, Chloe's here. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He... He seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost gone. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria won. Thank you, Victoria. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Uh, yes, I can. 
Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now! Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Oh, Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. I will get your revenge. I swear. <laughs> Max, when we catch Nathan, you better rewind so I can kill him over and over. Oh, for God's sake, Chloe, you have to be quiet. Max, we could die, please, okay? Hurry. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh! No! Please. Don't 